Hello YouTube friends. I'm doing this job today and I'm doing it because I'm fed up of every time I open this big drawer that's underneath the table here, I can't find anything, anything. So I'm going to, it's a huge drawer. I've pulled it all out so that I'm going to, I'm going to tidy it out. I'm going to only put back in here the things that I need for sewing because this is the sewing drawer and at the other side of the table is the paper drawer. I'm not sure we'll get that far today. I'm not sure but I'm I'm fed up of opening this drawer and not being able to find anything in here so I'm kind of deciding I'm going to tip it all out and then put everything back in or should I take it out carefully? Yeah, I think the taking out carefully part actually appeals. So I'm going to put you up there and see how we go. This is supposed to be the sewing drawer. It's got my quilting rulers in. It's got, uh, I've got a lot of quilting rulers. It's got my rotary cutters and so on. And those things, it's legitimate to have those in there. But you know, how many tape measures does one girl need? Not three, four, five, six. Not six. And not all tangled up in everything. So, one, I'm guessing, is probably enough. Okay then, so all the quilting rulers can come out. They can go back in there. This is a little cutting mat that's, um, it's a... It's a rotating cutting mat. Do you know something? It was a bit of a waste of money because let's say you put a piece of fabric on there and you want to rotate it round. Why can't you just turn the whole mat round? It's small enough. So that was a waste of money. <laughs> uh, I'm going to just, I'm going to try not to do this angrily because I am actually quite fed up with this drawer. And it'll be interesting to see what I find. Um, <laughs> and um, what um, what it looks like when it goes back in the, t the table. It's, been a fa it's a fantastic drawer, but there's just far, far too many things in it. I mean, how many quilting rulers does one girl need? Scissors, sometimes scissors that I've forgotten I had. Okay, I'm on a mission now. I'm not putting this drawer back until it's tidy. And some of these things, this is iron-on bonder web stuff that you would use for I don't know taking up trousers or something like that that can go over in that drawer over there what's this doing in here <coughs> oh that woke up all the cats we don't need that in here do we no <laughs> no we don't uh, okay then so I'll make a pile over here of things that can go in the drawers but um, yeah we're going to redistribute everything redistribute everything and check that it's actually you see I, I need glue stick but I don't need it in here do I and that's got so little cotton on I've got it actually got a bin bag here there we go okay I think I've got a system now pinking shears do you know something I never ever ever use pinking shears not ever Right, this is a packet of uh, poo bags for a dog. If you were taking a dog for a walk, you would need to put the, the, the poo in that and pick it up and put it in a thing. Why have I got these? About maybe three years ago, I used to look after Anna's dog, Frank. And uh, when she was at work, when he was just a puppy. Uh, he's all right now. I don't need to look after him now. But I've had these from that time. Three years, I think I'll give those to Anna because she uses them. Okay. Things, more and more things. A rotary cutter that I never use, ever. Maybe I'll make a pile of things to give away up there. Ah, this is actually really important. Some of this thread can just go in the thread drawer. I have a thread drawer over there, but that one, if I'm not wrong, 
is the organic cotton thread that I, I'm going to save that. I'll put that somewhere else entirely. Do you know what? I might just sacrifice that little tiny bit of thread there. Went in the bin. Now, uh, um, you know I always read every single one of your comments. Sometimes I just haven't got the time to reply to them all, but I do read them. Well, there was a fantastic comment the other day from uh, someone who said, uh, who watched one of the draw tidying out videos, and they said, uh, that was interesting, but um, it seems like you kept 99% of everything you looked at there, and I did. Uh, it might, instead of calling it a clear out, maybe we just call it a tidy out. So that uh, it's just like redistributing things that um, are in the wrong place. <laughs> maybe. You know, I might throw those away though. I might throw quite a few things away from in here. This is an important stick. I'll tell you about that maybe later. And this is a template for bunting. Now, I've got a bunting drawer over there. So that can go over there to go in the drawers. It's a little bit of embroidery thread and they live over there in a separate drawer. This is, uh, now is it though? This is a refill for one of those uh, marker pens that Clover do. You know, the, the chalk markers. So that's important. Need to keep hold of that. But where, Kate, where? I know where that, that belongs. Oh, these here. There's a, put those there for now. These, can you see what those are? I'll get you a bit nearer, can you see? Those are little stick on googly eyes. Um, I'll put those in a drawer over there, I think. Yes, so we'll put all the spools as I find them in this little pot here because there's going to be a load of spools. Okay. Rotary cutter blades, though, are here in this packet here. Now, the problem here is. Put those cottons back there. Oh, what's that? Hmm. No. The problem with the rotary cutter blades is that um, they come in a little packet like this, but if you put the blunt ones back in here and they get mixed up with the new ones, would I ever do the thing, a thing like that? Me? Well, yeah. And so I, um, some are sharp and some are not. So this is for sharpening rotary cutter blades. There's another rotary cutter. That's five rotary cutters now. I only need one, don't I? Oh, six rotary cutters. Uh, that's for measuring knitting needles, so that can go over in my knitting uh, drawer over there. We'll put all the rotary bladey things here. That's a useful um, adapter plug, but it doesn't need to be in this drawer. I'll put that where that belongs. More scissors. Now, I'm trying to find good thread. So I've got some sort of all right thread. But what I'm trying... Ah, that one. Gutterman. That's the one I need. Ah, there's the other rotary cutter blades. Look. This is good. Sorting everything out. Another glue stick. That's a brand new glue stick. Those are two brand new glue sticks. They need to be over with the paper things over there. This useful thing... Oh. It was useful until I pulled the spring out. Whoops a daisy. Oh dear. Let's see, what did I do there? I think I can get it back in easy enough. Yeah. This is for cutting uh, tiles. Because of course I do that sometimes, but that really should be in that drawer over there. I don't think I'm going to sort that drawer out today. I don't think so. Ah, there they are. Sewing machine needles. I bought a packet of sewing machine needles. Uh, like, how many are there in there? Um, 50. And I broke a sewing machine needle the other day. Could I find this? No, I couldn't, because it was in this drawer somewhere. So that then, they will. that's going on this side, because that's stuff to keep. 
glue stick, empty bin. Uh, ah, that's my favourite tiny sewing uh, machine um, screwdriver. And I like that one because it's got a big handle to hold on to. So we'll put that back in. So more scissors. I'll put the scissors over there. This is going well. This is going very well. See, I threw, I threw something away there. Did you see that? I did. This, though, is for cleaning your iron. It still works. It's fine. That's an iron cleaner. Uh, I put all the spools I find. What's that doing in here? It's a grey felt pen. Well, I've got some pen, a pen pot over there. So I'll... Um, what's this then? That's also an iron cleaner. So I'll put the iron cleaners together over there. Have you got drawers like this that are just full of stuff? Ah! Now I knew I knew there were these at the back of the at the back of the drawer, but I almost never get to them. Oh right, this is great because I need these are patterns for baby clothes, and I'll be making baby clothes. I am making baby clothes. Right, so I need to have a, a drawer maybe in the sock cupboard drawer in the drawer over there. I need to have a drawer for, for baby patterns, and those are patterns that I made years ago. I'll put the patterns over there. Okay, now this is a this is a useful um, a useful spool box, and they all look like the right size spools. Because of course every sewing machine takes a different size spool, doesn't it? Which is annoying. Some are a bit thinner, some are a bit thicker. The ones I need for my genome are these. So we'll get those out, that's good. Ah, there's the phone. Give me a minute. Hello? Okay, that's just a nuisance call. Do you get nuisance calls? I get loads of them. Even though I have telephone preference, I still get them. Right, what's this then? Let's just check whether that, oh, that writes beautifully. That can go over there with the pens. Uh, that's just a bit of cardboard that I no longer need. See, things are going in the bin. Oh, is that, is that how to use it? Yeah. That's how to use one of my sewing rulers. Oh look, oh no, that's the packet for the ironing uh, stuff. Don't need that. Uh, what's this? Well, I have a Bonina machine upstairs and this is the walking foot for the Bonina. So I think that should go in the sewing machine drawer over there. Now this though is the walking foot for my genome and that is really important and I'm going to need that soon because I'm going to be putting the binding on this quilt that's hiding under here that you can't see. Retractable flying geese. Nope, I know how to do that. I've got that in my book so I don't need that. There's a weenie crochet hook. I'll put that over with the knitting things. Going well so far. Uh, what else have we got in here? Basic cutting techniques for the Omnigrid. I think I'm beyond basic cutting techniques now. Now this, that's, what's that the lid for? I don't know. This is the little thing that the beeswax thread swiper comes in but uh, it ran out of beeswax a long time ago. These are the blades I use for my um, modelling knife so that needs to go in the packet with the modelling knife which is over there. There's a little rubber there. Oh that's a useful handle. Look at that. It's nice. Don't know what I'm going to do with that. Let's put that there to decide later. A little bit of string. Don't need tiny bit of string. Oh, this is going well. Another rubber? I don't know what I'm going to do with that. That's there. 
a very important piece of this table. Can't remember where it comes from, but it's very important. We better not throw that away. Little tiny pair of nail scissors, they can go in the bathroom. Uh, what else have we got in here? It's, good. it's looking good. Now, I've got a big packet of dressmaker's pins here, but do you know how many thousands of pins I've got? So that's going to go up there and that can go to a charity shop. Oh, that was a very important piece of wood that fits on the table somewhere I don't know where. I better go back in the drawer. Uh, what was this again? Ah, oh, oh, this is a fish. Look, this is a fish. Uh, there's a long story attached to this fish. Which I'll tell you maybe another day. But that fish needs to come out. No, it hasn't got lavender in, it's just a fish. Uh, come out and go somewhere a bit more special than the back of this drawer. Uh, what's this now? This is a textile drawing pen. Good. This is an unpicker with a brush on the end. Now I've got a place where unpickers live and it's My neighbour has just started up his chainsaw, so we're going to be accompanied by the noise of a chainsaw just now. But yeah, I've got a place where unpickers live, which is here. Yep. And there is the clover pen, uh, you know, the chalk marking pen, which can go with the refill, which is here. So those two things need to sit together, don't they? Yes, they do. OK, they can go there for now. Elementary, my dear Watson. Why have I got that in here? And it's filthy. So that can I'll put that there for now and it can go for a wash. Glue stick empty. Tiny bits of fabric. Another rubber. Oh, look. Those are great, quilting needles. So actually, when you need one of them, nothing else will do. So we'll stick that up on the board there. Okie dokie. Uh, more scissors. Some little tiny scraps of Liberty fabric. Now, it's very important not to throw Liberty fabric away. However, no, I won't throw it away. I'll put it in the Liberty drawer, which is down there. No, I can't throw Liberty away. That would be sacri sacrilegious. This is a little glass pot with three brass rings in and a paper clip. <laughs> that was very embarrassing clearing out your drawers on camera, isn't it? Oh, look, another tiny elementary, my dear Watson. Let's put those two together. Ah, this is interesting. These are bias tape makers and I have three... I have more than three, but I have these three in different sizes. And this is just making bias binding, and it's very, very, very useful. So they need to go uh, back in this drawer, but all together so that I can find them. Now, there's a pair of round nose pliers. They should end up in that drawer, I think. Um, yeah. Oh, is that the same? No, look. There are two important pieces of wood that belong on this table somewhere. I wonder where they belong. I wonder how this table's standing up without them. There's a second one there though. Okay, these little tiny weeny scissors are very useful for cut when you're cutting, um, doing little tiny applique bits of embroidery and things. Put those with the scissors just now. That is the most beautiful piece of velvet. When you need a piece of green velvet, nothing else will do. Oh, this is one of those things that um, you mark, a pattern marking thing. That's very uh, allowed in the sewing drawer. Um, do you 
Remember when I was tidying out the drawers and I found those silver sixpences? They're still here. <laughs> I never did do anything with them. I put them in here. <laughs> so the person who left that comment's completely right. I'm not really throwing anything away, am I? This is a little bit of gold braidy stuff but it's all tangled up with loads of other things so I am going to throw that away because you know I really don't need it I'll probably find tomorrow I need some gold braid now here are two screw things that look very very important uh, but they're probably not I'll put them in with those because they look in oh I know what that is okay but I'll still put them together I don't know what those green screw things are but the, all the unnamed bits of attachments can go in there. That's a good place for them. Ah, that's a useful thing when you need a, a tape measure that's like a, a more like a builder's tape measure. So that can go back in here as well because I sometimes need one of those. Here's another spool that doesn't fit a machine I've got in use. I have a lot of sewing machines, more than uh, I have about four. And these are spools for them but they're all upstairs um, it stems back from the day that I used to the days that I used to teach uh, in an actual workshop um, I used to teach quilting and so on and I um, would have the machine set up for people there's some sewing machine needles there but I've got some of those in a drawer over there there's another felt pen. There must be a whole load of those in here. What's this? That's another fabric marking pen. So that can go there so that when everything goes back in here, it's sorted. That's the handle for a scalpel, but I don't have the size blades. What do I do about that? Is that it? No, that's a different scalpel. Okay, I've got a couple of scalpels there. I wonder where they came from. Okay, well that's a bit dangerous. I've got a sharp um, pot over here where sharp things go. Right, well we'll have a, oops, we'll have a wee think about those scalpels. I'll put them up there for now. Oh, a load of bobbins for a banana. So I've got my banana upstairs. So where did this walking foot go? There, I'll put that with that. I'm going to sneeze again because this is dusty. No, it won't come. Hang on a minute, it will. There's another marker, a pattern marker. I don't need two of those really, do I? That's a bendy pencil. Do you know something? I don't need that either. That can go up there to the charity shop. Ah, it's coming on well. The bin's not very big. What was that again? Um, that's uh, a Frank from an awfully long time ago when France had Franks. Elastic bands that have lost their elasticity. I'm going to put that in there while I'm not looking because I can't even remember what it is. <laughs> uh, pencil. Useful. Another pencil. Oh, what's that pencil? <laughs> this pencil says dream, study, admire. So when I use that one, I'll do all of those things. It's coming on well. I get a bigger brush than that but that's a paintbrush and I have a pot over there with paintbrushes in and that's uh, also a pointed stick and uh, that one's uh, I need those and but I've got a pot over there with them in as well another pencil what's this um, what is that oh I don't know I think it's a glue pen, but it's, uh, it's well and truly old, that one. I don't need to keep it. I've got a drawer of zips over there. What's this? Stops fraying. Oh, really? 
How old is that now? It's about a thousand years old. So that can go in the bin as well. Another tiny pair of scissors that I can, I don't know, put in the bathroom maybe. <laughs> Getting to the bottom now. Oops, a daisy. Um, oh! Now that is a tiny piece of curtain tape, uh, curtain wire for, but it's so small I haven't got any need to keep that. That can go in the bin as well. There's nothing, there's no curtain that small is there. Um, another pen, little silly brush thing, I've got those of those. Now when you come across something like that and that, that you've put in a drawer years ago. These are probably important bits of wood. So I'm going to keep those with the important bits of wood. I'm going to get a brush, guys. Um, this is a little ring for when I used to do book binding and I've got a whole load of them over there. I've been avoiding this one. This is a, f a joke finger thing where you're supposed to put your finger in there and pull it and then it won't come out or something. That's going in the bin. Silly thing. This is a small cutting mat. Just a really tiny one for when you're cutting small tiny things. This is a piece of webbing. Now I've got a drawer over there which has got the rest of this webbing in. So we'll tidy that up, put that over there in that drawer. Instructions for things. What's this? This is the instructions for making flying geese with the flying goose ruler. Yeah, that's okay. I don't need that. Although actually it's got quite a lot of useful sizes on. Okay, I'll keep that with the flying goose ruler when I find it, because that, that's, that looks quite useful, and I've got it down here somewhere. This is a little pin cushion that's been at the back of this drawer for the longest time. Ow, oh, it's got a pin in it. <laughs> Ow. Um, what my mum made. It's really filthy. I tell you what, I'll try and give it a wash. Yeah, I'll put this over here and we'll give it a wash and see how that comes out. Um... This is a rotary cutting blade that cuts wiggly lines. So we'll put that with the rotary cutting blades. I've never used it. Uh, that's a little um, needle case that I made a thousand years ago. It's got needles in. I'll put that over the drawer with the needles. Uh, another tiny zip. what that is they can go in the bin just a little bits and pieces what's this oh what's this what's this that's, that's a quite an important piece of metal no idea what that is it's wrapped in paper I think it's just a template well it can go with the templates. I've no idea where that came from or what it is. Useful hook. When you need a hook, nothing else will do. That's a, a quilting safety pin. I've got a pot with those in over here. Now these are very important. That's all I'll say about those. I'll put them in the very important pile. There's another of those um, little cutting uh, rotary cutter blades. I don't know what that is. If it's something important and I throw it away, do you know, I don't think it is. It's gone now. is a useful screwdriver in that it's got a, a, a cross head there and a flat head there. 
So I'll put that with the screwdrivers. Okay. What's going on in here then? A couple of pins there. Those are always handy to have in the in the um, design board. They just get lost in here. And this little thing always used to sit in the front of the drawer with uh, bobbins and things in. But it's filthy, so I'll give it a wash. Oh look, another tape measure, just what you need. Um, a big nappy pin. Remember the days when nappies used to be held on with these things? I used to use them. This is probably one of Martha's nappy pins. Nobody uses nappies like this anymore. I'm keeping that though. Nobody uses nappies, do they? They use um, all sorts of shaped weird things. Um, and disposables. Don't get me started on disposable nappies. Just don't. Okay, because they live in landfill for like thousands of years. Here's a couple of little pegs here. Um, there, there's the pegs. I'll put them with the pegs. What have I got in this hand here then? Um, pencil, pencil. Never at any point in throwing pencils away because you never know when you might need a pencil. And I have hundreds of them. But these elastic bands have definitely lost their elasticity. Now, where did I put that pot there? And this is a little bulldog clip. Well, it can go in that drawer over there. Oh, pencil, little white pencil, little pin there. Now, bent pins, I've got a little bit of a throwing away policy on the bent pins. That's um, a useful thing. It can go in there with the other useful things got these in my hand. Oh, I'll just pick up these safety pins while I'm here and put them in the safety pin pot. There we go. Are there any more? Getting to the end of this, guys. It's going well. Sew machine needles. They can go with the sewing machine needles. Nuts and bolts and things like that. Uh, I guess when you need a nut or bolt, nothing else will do. Screws and stuff. I think we might just throw all these away though. Uh, in the interests of when will I ever use them. But these are safety pins. They can go with the safety pins. That's where they live. Pin for the design board. What have I got in my hand? I've got three little uh, glass... Um, you know what they are, don't you? But I've, I've, there is... <laughs> I've got a hundred more of those, so I'll put them with them. Safety pin. There's a, no, there's a big kilt pin. I'll put that with a nappy pin and find a place for them. What I've got left here then, I am going to put all these metal things that are just a little, probably a bit too useful to throw away. I'm going to put them somewhere else. Getting to the end, guys. Getting to the end. Put those in there for now. So there's a load of bobbins there that uh, I'll put in the sewing drawer over here. Okay. And then I'm going to get the hoover and hoover all this out now because it's um, these tiny little bits and pieces here. Nothing I need here. There's no treasures. Hole, so um, they can all go down the hoover, I think. The clover marking, so all the marking pens then all the fabric marking pens can all go back here as well. That's the most useful one. Now, it's now to do with rulers now and how many rulers I need. Um, so let's, okay, let's be totally sensible about rulers. And the ones that I do need, that's a really nice little ruler. It's just a tiny little ruler, look. 
if it's ever so useful. That's the flying goose ruler and there's the flying goose instructions so they can go together. I've thrown out all those elastic bands. <laughs> I just have to get an elastic band back from out of the bin. There's one. There we go, look. Has that got elastic? Yes. So that's the flying goose ruler. Uh, and then I've got the this easy angle. I, I do use them, but not that often. So these are the easy angle tools. When I need them, nothing else will do. Uh, I'm not sure I need that one. Not sure. I like that. I don't know what it is, but that can stay. We'll stick it in the corner. That was that funny piece of metal. Right, let's work this out now. So this is a centimetres ruler. And this is a ruler I never use. That's two rulers that I don't need. This one's great. This is my equilateral triangle ruler. Oh, is it though? No, it isn't. Anyway, this is a really great ruler. <laughs> so I keep the triangle rulers. That's another ruler I never use. You get used to one ruler, don't you? That one is great. I made a really cool quilt with that one year. Uh, and so I'm going to keep that one. Yeah, that's the, uh, it's a Dresden plate um, ruler. And I made a, a quilt. I might find a picture of it and put, I'll put a picture in here. I sold that one. This is, this is the, no, it's not equilateral triangle. That's another triangle tool though. I like the triangles. This one is a very useful ruler. It's a six inch square, but it's six and a half inches. So you've got to be careful when you're using it that it's got an extra half, uh, is it a quarter inch or a half inch? No, it's got an extra half inch here. I like that ruler. We're keeping that ruler. Okay, let's see what else have we got. Now this ruler, I don't like. Let's put it up there. It's not as easy to see as this is my favorite ruler. You know how you get your favorite things? That's a fantastic ruler. So we're keeping you, mate. And it appears that I have two exactly the same. And this one, the markings are wearing off. Well, I'll keep them both because the markings are going on that one. These three rubbers here can just sit there for now. And this is also an incredibly good ruler. This is a 10 inch square. I, Sorry, it's a 12 inch square. Very, very useful ruler. So I'm going to keep that one. But some of these others I'm not going to keep. I almost never, in fact, I would say more defin definitely than that, I never work in centimetres because everything I do to do with quilting is done in inches, everything. So I think, oh, and then there's this one. Now this is a good ruler. It's six inches wide and 12 inches long. And this is useful to use when I'm working on something smaller uh, than this big 24 inch ruler. So that's a good one. So I like all of those. Okay, but I'm not so bothered about any of those. So we might have to think about what to do with them. Now, as for rotary cutters, the one with the mark on the back is the one with the new blade in. This one is a great rotary cutter and um, it just if, if I put a new blade in this one, this will be great as well. So they're really good, those two. I'm keeping those. However, those rotary cutters, one, two, three, four rotary cutters. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Now, rotary cutter blades. Very expensive. Some are new, some are not. <laughs> And I think my thought was that I would have one packet for brand new blades and one packet for blades that needed sharpening. But of course, I don't know which is which. So what sort of a twit am I? And now scissors. Um, I've got a lot of pairs of scissors, but my good scissors can live in the front of this drawer here. Those aren't good scissors, but these two are. And oh, those are good scissors. Good small scissors. So the scissors are good. And then these guys 
which are my bias tape makers. I don't use them often, but when I use them, I need to be able to find them. So those are blades that I'm not keeping. Not blades, those are rulers I'm not keeping. Now these things, again, these are pattern markers. And when you need one, nothing else will do. So, okay, so they can go in there. I don't need two though, really, do I? Okay. See these little bits of wood that I don't know what they are, but they're, I think they're important for the table. I'm going to put them at the back of the drawer and they can stay there. Okay, this is the very useful ruler, tape measure, stiff one. Good, need that, need that in there. This is for sharpening scissors. So it makes a noise that sets your teeth on edge, but it's really great. So that needs to stay in here with the scissors. Oh, I haven't been in here, have I? There's another tape measure. Oh, I haven't, I haven't been in here. Oh dear. Oh, thought I was doing okay, but there's this little pot that I haven't been in. Well, that's a pencil sharpener. So I'll put that over there next to the pencils and I might sharpen pencils. And this this is like, oh no, why did I not sort this one? This, oh, what's this? This is, I bought, I remember buying this. This is silk. Um, that's The neighbour now is hitting something with a very large hammer. But uh, we can cope with that, can't we? There is another of my bias tape makers. Bias tape makers are going, yes, okay. Look, let's just tip this bowl out and put the bias tape makers back in. The bias tape makers now live in here because there's another really thin one. There, there, that's where they live. Right, sort this out now. That's beautiful. I'll put that with the embroidery threads over there because it's for lovely bits of silk. Okay, it's good to sort this out. That's, they can go over with the threads as well. I've got a drawer with the threads in over there. Um, I think they can go in the bin. Some little gold sequins that I don't want. Oh, and that's one of my little thread bunnies that live over there. I'll put that up. It's another one of those. Where did I put the where did I put the pot with those in there? These are all bobbins that don't fit the machines that I'm the, the machine that I'm using now. Do you see what I mean? They're all the wrong size for the machines I have out. But I have these machines upstairs. That one would fit the genome. That one won't, that one won't, that one will. Okay, so we'll, we'll keep those in here. Good. Um, what else have we got in here? Now, where's that bag with the... I don't know what these are, but they're useful. Oh, there's a quarter inch foot. Okay, that's another quarter inch foot. Well, you don't need two quarter inch foots, do you? I've got another quarter inch foot. These are tiny little, they look quite important screws. There. This is some beeswax that I use when I'm uh, waxing um, thread to hand sew with. So that needs to go here too. Now I have a drawer full of beads over there, so they can go with the beads. And I also have a bobbin drawer where all these are going to go. Those bobbins, that bobbin can go there. Okay. That's some tailor's chalk. That's also useful for marking fabric with. It's getting really down now. That's a, that's a stitch marker for when I'm knitting. I made those, oh I made those when I was in South Africa. I went to visit my son when he was living in South Africa and uh, in uh, Cape Town there was a bead shop on Long Street and I bought uh, lots and lots of little beads and I made 
while I was in South Africa, I made these uh, stitch uh, markers. I made loads of them. It was great fun. A couple more safety pins. Um, another bit of rubbish that needs to be hoovered up. So we need to get the... Oh, that's pretty. It's like something Martha might have drawn. I'll hoover that last little bit up so that part can stay here. This little um, bowl here with the strawberries in, Owen bought that for me, my son, years and years and years ago. It was a really, really thoughtful present because he was just a kid at the time and he thought it would just be lovely for me to have because it was colourful. Sweet. So that's that can keep those in there. Those are safety pins that can go over there. Last little bit of hoovering up to do here. I'm going to choose maybe two tape measures and the rest of them are all going to charity shops. So let's see, is this a good one? Yeah, that's a good one. One, two. I don't need all those um, nasty tape measures. A couple of tape measures is enough. Maybe three. Should we have a third one? Yeah, go on. We'll have three then. It's not like I haven't got any room, is it? One, two and one more. Uh, is it any better than that though? No. Okay, three tape measures. Um, and then we'll throw the rest away. Oh, hang on though. That one goes to, that one's longer. That one goes to 152 centimetres. So we'll have that one instead. Okay, now these blades here that do sort of, um, am I ever going to use them? I never have. Uh, right, well, they, if I'm not going to use those, they can go with the rotary cutters and I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but get rid of them. That's bobbins that don't fit this machine. So they can go over there with the banana stuff and they can go in a sewing machine drawer over there. That. So I'm going to wash that out and that's going to sit in the front here with all the bobbins and bits and pieces that I need there. Uh, but I, oh, sewing machine needles, they can go there. That's why I started doing all of this, because I broke my sewing machine needle and I couldn't find a new one. And I knew that it was in here somewhere. Now I'm going to put away everything on this table. Now, what I could do is actually do the other drawer, but I'm not going <laughs> to. I'm not going to. Right, I'm going to clear this whole table now. Everything's going to go back exactly where it belongs and then this is going back in the drawer. I'll see you at the end. So this then, little pile here, is everything that I'm going to rehome. I'm going to find quilting friends who would like a rotary cutter and a ruler. I'm going to give all of these extra tape measures away. Um, oh, I'll give that a wash and put that on the shelf somewhere. I'll give those to Anna charity shop and get rid of all of those so just that little pile there but the drawers now are really tidy except now that drawer which has got all the stuff that I use when I'm making things with paper that's the sewing drawer this is the paper drawer so I think we'll have to tidy that one out another time I'm not doing it now that's enough of drawer tidying for one day but it's good though I did throw some things away but I mostly repositioned them and put them into places where they need to be. Okay, 
I'll catch you next time. And we'll maybe do that one in the future. Maybe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye now.